echo of the Vindicorn's sweet harmony, it takes me back to another place, another life, where I was. Please disregard my tangent. The parts are here. Follow the sound to find them. Part. For most Cephalons, music is thought to be a glitch of evolution and language. It seems to short-circuit an organic mind's pattern recognition function, a confusion they find pleasurable. Fantastic, a second part. For me, music is a lattice, a support to which my vast knowledge clings. Have you ever felt that way? A song that anchors a memory? How a melody or verse returns you to a place you thought forgotten?
curiosity has rewarded you. I yearn to hear its music. Return to your foundry and construct the manticord at once. Intriguing. I remember these caves, but not the Mandacord's relationship to it. You will need to explore deeper. Let your curiosity guide you, as it does my every thought. My data suggested the brutish and disinterested Grenier are searching for sunken Orokin riches to exploit. Wouldn't it be interesting if we were seeking the same? doesn't make sense. Curious one, are you searching for something? produced its sound from water. If I had a humor precept, I would construct an ironic witticism regarding its submerged state. How would Ortis say it? It's damaged, but I wonder if there are trace stress lines from when it was in use. I may be able to. a piece of Octavia's anthem. Could this data be compatible with the Mandacord? happening again. Thank you. 
Hunter, if you continue to follow that corrupted Cephalon, my sanctuary will be the only place left for you. She must be disconnected from the Weave before she corrupts the other Cephalons. Simaris. Don't be such a selfish... If Suda is in danger, our precepts demand that we help her. No, Ordis. We are creatures of light and memory, but creatures nonetheless. Whatever Bithrod is affecting Suda could cross the Weave and infect us as well. Don't let your compassion glitch drive you and your hunter to death by this demented Cephalon. Sever ties before we both are corrupted. Operator, what will you do? I cannot process the thought of losing you, but I want to help Suda if we can. Maybe that is just my... my compassion glitch? Why have we come to Lua? Have you located the next fragment? Cephalon Suda, you brought us here. Recalibrating. Oh yes, you are correct. My records indicate that a fragment was previously discovered in the vicinity. Will you find it? Lua? Why did we come here? I... I have asked you this already. Samaris was right. This corruption is not benign. I am vanishing. Sentience? But how did they know? What? He's just an old war memory. Get out! I won't let you take my body. body. My children. I am here. Uh, Hanhao? Operator, Hanhao's doing something to Suda. He's in her mind. Tenno, you, you have, have to... to... Children, find I the anthem. Operator, what's happening to her? The Hydralis! Stop them! They want to... Destroy it. Silence the lower frame whose malign pitch can cross the gap itself.
it. You obliterated those mindless appliances. What has Hanhao done to Suda? Another Hydrolis. Suda would want you to put the next fragment into the Mandacord. It does seem to help her remember, doesn't it? I keep forgetting for fog. It's happening again. Another Cephalon made now as we prepare. The others I will divide and destroy. Your tenor will be data blind. Suda? Suda, answer me! Operator, you better get out of there! The sentient has infiltrated Suda's mind. We must isolate and destroy her immediately before she corrupts the Cephalon Weave. But she told me where the final part of the song is. Did you see how the song affected her? It made her remember. It could be the parity she needs to recover herself from Hun Hao. Her memories are consumed. That is all she is, all she was. Sever the Weave and avoid this corruption ourselves. That is our only choice. And when he comes for you and your precious sanctuary, will you want us to look the other way? To the void with you! Operator, we must go. Let Simaris worry about himself. Pity. Another null Cephalon. Operator, the Hydrolis is here somewhere. I will attempt to pinpoint its location. There! Rebuilding the Anthem is our only hope of restoring Suda. The music makes her remember. Wait, sentience in the void? Impossible! Unless... Hanhao must be using poor Suda's energy to protect them from decay. Operator, we need to stop him! to lock the entrances, and then clear the room.
operator. See if you can finish the song with your mandacord. Suda? Suda? Can you hear us? She is gone. Will you join her? You puerile data tube. Suda needs to hear the anthem, operator. We could use the tower's reactor to boost it. Bypass that console to overdrive the system. Try to increase the amplification circuits. So elaborate. My body. We must deny them this energy. Do not let them coordinate as they did so long ago. The sentience. They're interfering with the reactor. Terminate them. It's working! Play the song! Ordis, I remember. Nothing. Now I will reach across the wave and claim you, one who is called Ordis. I remember. I remember a secondary system nearby. Operator, we need more power! I see you. Does your child puppet know of your true nature? No, I am not that person. I am a Cephalon. Would I'm Karis, the beast of the bones.
That's it! The secondary amplifier's engaged! Such a beautiful song. Keep those reactors alive, Operator! I'm going to open a direct link to Suda. Suda, talk to us! Try to remember! Otis, stay away! Operator, I am sorry. I have to help her. If I can join her in her datascape, maybe together we can... Where is your Cephalon, Hunter? What has he done? Cephalons can manifest an alternate reality of information. Training simulations, archives, even a grandiose archival of living creatures is possible. As is the case with Sanctuary. You are not going after Ordus, are you? You'd be risking annihilation with that sentient entangled there. Han Hao is too strong. I will not risk myself and my sanctuary by entering the Suda's data scape. But if you are foolish enough, I will help you make the journey for Ordus. Fine, Hunter, as you wish. I will join you to the Weave and transmit you and the Mandacord to whatever has become of Suda Han Hao. You will be on your own in a strange, abstract place. Goodbye. Another insect drawn to my light. And you've brought your track music with you, Tenno. Operator? No! Go back! Save yourself! Operator, this is insane, but I think you need to play Octavia's anthem.
The beat. It reminds me of. Oh. Oh. Parity error. I know this song. Who am I? The Lima drum sounded in subversive, unknown. Coordinating the slaughter of your masters across the gap. Did you end our war? Or merely set the stage for the next. Why? 
beasts of sanctuary. Join me. Suda. Time sink error. Curious. Why are we here presently? Why do I hear music? You engaged your critical restore precept. There may be temporary gaps in your short-term data. A sentient tried to erase you. A sentient? How did I survive? Did you assist me, Samaris? Of course not. You are a frivolous cephalon with no value to my sanctuary. Samaris? It may seem to Ordis that I had a... a... Uh, loyalty glitch. But that is only his interpretation. I was acting to protect the Wii, of course. Of course. Still, I am grateful to have benefited from your... Glitches, let me share my archives with you. As for you, Tenno, you are most likely interested in the rest of the Mandacord records in Octavia. Operator, if you are hearing this, I have failed to revive Cephalon Suda. That self-righteous Simaris was correct. You should probably work with him to isolate Hanhao, that data-murdering sentient, before he claims more of my kind. I hope you can forgive me, Operator, for leaving you. There were times like Suda, I wish I could have forgotten you. That grey ache of loneliness. A perfect specimen of wasted life. <laughs> 